In this video, we are going to discuss what is renal reabsorption, tubular secretion, and free water clearance. So, without any further delay, let's start our video on renal reabsorption and secretion. Let's understand the summary of urine formation. This is afferent arteriole. This is efferent arteriole. This is peritubular capillary. This is tubular portion. This is glomerulus. When blood passes through glomerular capillaries, the plasma is filtered into the Bowman capsule. This process is called as glomerular filtration. Filtrate from Bowman capsule passes through the tubular portion of the nephron. Remaining blood moves to peritubular capillaries while passing through the tubule. The filtrate undergoes various changes, both in quality and in quantity. Many wanted substances like glucose, amino acids, water, and electrolytes are reabsorbed from the tubules. This process is called as tubular reabsorption, and some unwanted substances are secreted into the tubule from peritubular blood vessels. This process is called as tubular secretion or excretion. Thus, the urine formation includes three processes. First is glomerular filtration. Second is tubular reabsorption. Third is tubular secretion. Among these three processes, filtration is the function of the glomerulus. Reabsorption and secretion are the functions of tubular portion of the nephron. Now, what is selective reabsorption? Well, tubular reabsorption is known as selective reabsorption because the tubular cells reabsorb only the substances necessary for the body. Essential substances such as glucose, amino acids, and vitamins are completely reabsorbed from renal tubule. Whereas the unwanted substances like metabolic waste products are not reabsorbed and excreted through urine. This was all about this section. In our next section, we will talk about reabsorption in detail. Explore our extensive library of over 1800 video lectures to learn about a wide range of topics. Only on Scadia.com.